Shalom, shalom, all praises, honor, and glory. It goes to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai Bahashim, Rakak Kwadash, double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Brakatham to the hopeful elect, shalom, shalom. Today's video is going to be entitled, There Will Be Peace in Our Dwellings and Peace in Our Homes. And, uh, this video is inspired, you know, all some things we we're speaking on at camp this Saturday going into architecture and just by the way, you know, certain buildings are set up, you know, they they do hold a wicked vibration to them, which, you know, to 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 the unlearned man, you know, skyscrapers, certain buildings like that, you wouldn't think anything of it, but there's there there's a reason for all things see what i'm saying because if the most high didn't didn't deal with architecture as we mentioned at camp he wouldn't he wouldn't have gave specific instructions on on not only how to build his temple you know the king solomon but to also how to build the tabernacle he gave to moses so you know certain certain designs and things like that give off certain energies you know when we mentioned how the project buildings, <laughs> the project buildings in, you know, Chicago or New York, those things are predominantly, you know, shaped up like uh, prisons. You know, a lot of those low, low income, low income housing, not even not just, you know, the big city, Chicago, New York, but also, you know, down south, even here in the Midwest, a lot of those buildings represents prison. So, you know, when Jake, when Jake goes in, you know, when they get locked up for whatever reason, they, they feel right at home. And it's, and it's by design. That's why the schools are set up that way. The housing system and the prisons, they all set up that way because it has a wicked vibration to it. But, you know, in this lesson, you know, I'm posting some, 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 some visuals of some, uh, of some AI art that I have found of, you know, some nice palaces, nice houses. These are things that we look forward to, to having in the kingdom of heaven. Because here we are in our lowest state. You know, I know every brother ain't, ain't down bad. You know, some, brother, some brothers are able to have homes, you know, actual homes. Some brothers gotta, gotta, gotta deal with the one, two, three bedroom apartment. And you know, some brothers in their situations, they even gotta live live in the hood, which is which is vexing, man. You know, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that I've I've spent extended periods of my life living in the hood, but hey, circumstances happen where you gotta you gotta you, you gotta be there, man. And, and anybody that has lived in the hood knows that your number one mission is to get the fuck out of there. Not even if you're in the truth or not. Like you you just know that. The, there, this is not the place to be. There's, there, there's wicked, wicked, uh, wicked vibrations in that neighborhood, from, 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 from morning to midday to evening to late at night, man. Niggas is up to something. Niggas is plotting. Niggas is scheming. You know, demons are active. Even going to the a video I did a couple weeks ago, going into uh, ghosts and spirits, I was mentioning on how you know certain certain activities you know a, a neighbor in your apartment building may do can can affect can affect your dwelling you can have negative energy come up in there you see this is why not only babylon has to be reset but a lot of the architecture a lot of these buildings have to be torn down and replaced because you know in the kingdom of heaven we ain't gonna have concrete buildings man that shit got to be taken down because that's oppressive you see but I want to get into some precepts. This is Job chapter 5. Job chapter 5 verse 20 says, In famine he shall redeem thee from death, and in war from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. And, you know, we, we relate that to the times that are coming now, how the Most High is going to take care of us. It says, At destruction and famine thou shalt laugh, neither shalt thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth. For thou shalt be in league with the stones of the field, and the beasts of the field shall be at peace with thee. And thou shalt know 
that that thy tabernacle shall be in peace and now shall visit thy habitation and shall not sin. You see, you're, you're going to know that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai has a hedge of protection, not only of, you know, of, of your house in terms of the people in it, but the, the physical location. Now, we don't know what's going to happen in, in, in Jacob's trouble as far as brothers having to flee, brothers having to get on, get on a pilgrimage. But we know that in the kingdom of heaven, what it say? Jacob shall be at rest and none shall make him afraid, man. You're not going to worry about not not having uh, your not having your rent money for that week. You're not going to be having to deal uh, deal with wicked ass neighbors. No, especially if you uh, <laughs> if you live in an apartment building <laughs> and you got somebody living over you. I know how vexing that is, man. And they they build these apartments with shut with, you know, so much cheap material you you can hear it when your neighbors arguing you can hear it when your neighbor is fucking popping his woman you know you can hear it when when the damn toilet is flushing that's that's a vexation you see even if even if you have even if you have a house you still got to deal with neighbors in the ancient world you know looking at these uh at these castles <laughs> at these castles that you know we gonna be inhabiting you ain't gonna have a neighbor for you know <laughs> at least a, a mile away two two three four miles away you know abraham and lot they were doing it on such a big level that they they they, they had to spread it out man the business was booming so much they they had to move away and that's and that's things that we have have to look forward to man because you know brothers brothers who, who who've been to my place my place ain't that big <laughs> I stay in the fucking one bedroom. I know, you know, other brothers in the camp. They ain't, we ain't, we ain't living that high and mighty. But by doing the things that it that the Most High requires of us, we are gonna be dwelling in these habitations, man. Job chapter five verse twenty four. And thou shalt know that thy tabernacle shall be in peace, and thou shalt visit thy habitation and shall not sin. Thou shalt know also that thy seed shall be great. And thy offspring as the grass of the earth, man. How many blades of grass is on the planet Earth? Can you tell me that? <laughs> Esau, can you tell me how many blades of grass is on the planet Earth? But this, this, this is what the seed of Israel is going to be on. We, we, we're, we're going to be that, that numerable because not only are we going to inhabit the planet Earth, but you know we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take this business and go universally with it, man. Brothers is gonna be in in different planets, uh, occupying those lands, and we're gonna we're gonna follow the blueprint, the blueprint that we had set up for this planet Earth. The Israelites on top, all the heathens at the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Following the law, statutes, and commandments. That 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 makes the enterprise more profitable. And then you know you you have an inheritance to pass along to your children, because as the apostles always teach us. What is what is real substance? What is real money? Land, gold, and slaves. Land, gold, and slaves. How many how many brothers grew up in a uh, grew up in a in a in, in a childhood home that you don't live in anymore? You see, because you you supposed to have a you supposed to have a, co a, a a connection to your dwelling place. That's why the land of Israel. Is so important because that's the land was given to our forefathers, man. Through Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we we all have a have a connection to those certain lands. So when we get those plots of lands back, can't nobody take that away from us. You see, so when you when you do uh you know get tired and and, and want to build a new house, you can you can you can let let your child stay there and and, and go go build something else. You ain't got to worry about foreclosure. You know, you ain't got to worry about property taxes. You know what I'm saying? You don't have, uh, you have definitely, definitely, you definitely don't have to worry about no damn gen gentrification. You know, how many, how many Jake's got, 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 got conned out of, out of moving into a house? You know, they, 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 they took a deal from the so-called white man to, uh, to let them have their house. And turns out that that house turned out to be 10 times worth more than what what it was sold for man that's that gentrification shit esau gets off on that man the most high is about to do away with that because we're going to have permanent dwellings man 
I know certain Jakes like me, they 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 tired of moving around. That's one reason I don't <laughs> the apartment I got now, it ain't it ain't all that fancy, but I, I move so much in my life that I I just don't feel like it, man. But uh hey, <laughs> that's neither here nor there. This is uh let's jump here. Jeremiah chapter 30. This is Jeremiah 30, verses 16. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one shall go into captivity, right? That goes into the what I just said. True wealth is land, slaves, and gold, man. Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thy adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be as spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I be for a prey. For I will restore health unto thee, and heal thy wounds, saith the Lord. And what is what is what is part of part of the uh, wounds that we have is poverty, man. You know you gotta live in these, in these. Uh, I wouldn't say deplorable, but these, but these not so glamorous positions. Paying rent, paying taxes, paying mortgages. Most high is gonna restore that by by letting us dwell dwell in these castles, man. Dwell in these uh. <laughs> and these beautiful buildings that's going to be set up in righteousness and you know it's going to be so so such on a high level because we're going to be using stones in our in our walls in our floors you know what i'm saying your kitchen so just your house alone is going to have a vibration to it the same way we're speaking at Campo, how certain buildings have a vibration so is your house so is your dwelling so is your uh however you want to put it man Say, for I will restore health unto thee and heal thee of thy wounds, saith the Lord, because they called thee an outcast, saying, This is Zion, who no man seeketh after. Right? Nobody is looking to uh, to 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 better the the living situation of you, Black, Hispanics, Native Americans, man. You think the so-called white man is doing that by by building quote unquote affordable lofts in your area? <laughs> you know, you know when they knock down all the project buildings and they they start putting in fancy lofts, that ain't shit, man. Like I said, they using bullshit ass material and they and they they going to charge you an arm and leg for the rent, man. But they call it affordable, quote unquote. That ain't nothing but a but a fancy ass project building with a Starbucks around the corner. <laughs> but it says uh Jeremiah 30 verses 18. It said, "Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Shai, behold, I will bring again the captivity of Jacob's tents." And have mercy on his dwelling places, and the city shall be builded upon her own heap, and the palace shall remain after the manner thereof. Right? Nobody's going to come in and tear our buildings down. We're not going to be sacked, raided, and, and just just be left high and dry as we was in the ancient world, man. When we get into our land, these are going to be permanent dwellings. You know, when you get your own different spots on the planet Earth and beyond, these are going to be permanent dwellings, man. You ain't going to be driving by. You know how we do now, you know, if if you don't stay in your hometown, because, you know, in Kansas City, we are foreigners to this land. But, you know, if you go to your hometown, you might drive by your old childhood home. There's somebody else living in there. It ain't, it ain't going to be like that no more. And, and one, one point I do want to make, I said this earlier, you know, we have connections to to lands that was in our uh, in our childhood. You know, if you notice that. A lot of dreams take place in, in your childhood home or, or your childhood city, man. That's for a reason. But this is Jeremiah 30, verses 19. It says, And out of them shall proceed thanksgiving in the voice of them that make merry, and I will multiply them, and they shall not be few. I will also glorify them, and they shall not be small, right? So they're going to glorify us as a people. That, uh, that Joe 5 said... Thy seed shall be as as the grass of the earth, man. So how how is that gonna happen, man? Is Most High just gonna like produce Israelites out of nowhere, like it's a damn AI computer? No, man. As the as the apostles and elders just say, it's gonna be a lot of a lot of sex in the kingdom. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of sex in the kingdom, man. All these all these beautiful houses they're gonna be filled with our children. And we we're gonna need room room for more. That's that's why we gotta go out to the planet Earth, man, or you know, go beyond the planet Earth. But uh, let's continue, man. 
Isaiah chapter 32, verse 15, it said, Until the, the Spirit be poured upon us from on high, and the wilderness be a fruitful field, and the fruitful field be counted for a forest, then shall judgment dwell in the wilderness, and righteous remain fruitful field. And the work of righteousness shall be peace, and the effect of righteousness, quietness and assurance forever, man. Quietness and assurance forever. Knowing that nobody will be able to come through and overtake your land. Knowing that nobody would ever be able to take away what is your right through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. It said, and my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation and in sure dwellings and in quiet resting places, man. That means no more police sirens, no more uh, weird old niggas hanging outside of your apartment building, no more uh, street walkers, <laughs> no more crackhead meth heads and heroin heads late at night. See, it's going to be peace. No, no, no damn street lights creeping through your window when you trying to sleep. None of that, man. Through the spirit and power, how about Shemia Shah, these things are coming to us. But I'm going to leave it at that. You know, Lord willing, this is edifying. All praises, honor, and glory. It goes to Yahweh Baha Shem. Well, let me read one more. Second Ezra 2, verse 10. I don't want to let this go because this wraps it up perfectly. Thus saith the Lord unto Ezra, Tell my people that I will give them the kingdom of Jerusalem, which I would have given unto Israel. Their glory also will I take unto me and give these the everlasting tabernacles, which I had pre prepared for them. And Yahweh Shah said the same thing. I go to prepare a place for you. I wouldn't have told you about it if, if it weren't true. What's that place? It's, 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 it's the dwellings in the heavens, man. All those all those planets are for us. And Esau is jealous. And you know what? We're going to we're going to ball these planets out, man, with these nice homes, nice dwellings. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahushua said so. With that, all praises, honor and glory. It goes Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Double honors to the apostles, double honors to the elders of Great Millstone. Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, Brother Thumb, Throw Full Act, Shalom, Shalom.